Hey, this is High Noon. I want to show y'all a little bit about my strap. Some of my quivers. Uh, try to get this done before the battery goes dead. We don't call it battery around here. We call it a battery. Anyway, show a little bit how to work my straps on my quivers. Had a few people ask me that, so I think I'll give you a how-to. So here we go. I have to back up a little bit. As you can see, I've got the strap set right now to wear across the back. This is my wool strap that I make, but you can mount the leather strap the same way. As you can see, it goes across the back. I'm using the top D-ring and the for a right hand shooter, I recommend the, the left D-ring on the side of the, I call it a wing here. As you can see, we got one on both sides, one here, one over here. And if you want to change that, it's pretty easy with this wool strap. We'll change it to where as a as a side quiver here. It takes a little bit of time, but not too much. And just fold this up. Wrap it around. over and just pull you a little bit of a knot in it. Now we'll go up to the top here. Try to keep you in camera. Or keep me in camera. I'll take this one out. I hope this shows up good. But you do the same thing up here. You may have to pull a little extra up. But just wrap it around. Pull your half knot in it. You can snug this top side up. Then we've made a side quiver. Let's see if I can get this tilted a little bit. Sorry about all the commotion. Now we got a side quiver. We can wear it down here. We need to adjust it up. Simply slide the knot up the, up the strap. That's all we got to do. I kind of like letting mine, if I'm wearing mine as a side, side quiver, I kind of let, like letting mine to hang low. That way I can kind of hold my hand on it as I'm going through the brush or whatever. Just pretty simple, just to reach down and put your hand around the arrows, the spine, and all. All right, let me show you another way. And I actually I ain't tried this with this single strap, but we're gonna try it. But uh, I'm thinking that we can probably wear this quiver backpack style in order to do that I think we'll we'll half our I've just got my strap halved here I'm going to run this halved in as you can see through the D-ring. Then I'm gonna put both ends through this. See what we got. All right. Let's take this in. We'll put it through this little side D on the wing down here. We'll 
pulls a half knot in it. If I can make one. Alright, got me a half knot in that side. Put one through here. If you want to get real fancy tying this, you can tie it as like a tie. Make it real pretty. Anyway, see what we got here. We've got knot up top. Then we've got two on the side. Now see if this little thing fit me. I think it might work that way. See, you can wear it as a as a backpack style quiver, all with one strap. We can go from a, across the back quiver to a side quiver, and then to backpack style. And let's see, we've been six minutes and well about six minutes 45 seconds we went to went through all that and i'm sure if i wanted to practice it a little bit i could go a lot faster than that but uh usually if you're out in the mountains hunting depending on the time of day or what you're doing if you're out west, a lot of the guys out west, they like to carry these quivers in the backpack style. And uh, most fellas around here out east, they like to wear them either as a side quiver or across the back. I prefer them across the back because I can, when it's across the back, I can pull it down to my side when I'm going through some thick brush or whatever. But appreciate everybody that's interested in my quivers and that have bought them in the past and I keep trying to make them better. Thank you.